Murph, <laughs> coming to dinner, we're having turkey tonight. Are you turkey to bring his outfits? Schmuck. How's he gonna fit six elephants in a rickshaw? Quick. Four in front, three in back. Excuse me, can I borrow a match? Maaf karna, mujhe aapki, mujhe aapki bhaasha samaj nahi aati hai. Aapki bhaasha mujhe samaj nahi aati hai. आपकी बोली नहीं समझता हूं मैं यू डोंट स्पीक इंग्लिश हां यू डोंट स्पीक इंग्लिश हां दिस वन मर यू टर्न यू ऑन स्पीक इंग्लिश व्हाट आई शॉट इन इंडियन बिग मैन हाउ इज योर टीपी सी हे आर यू यू आर अ फेरी राइट मुझे बात करना मैं अपने बेटे को ढूंढ रहा हूं उसने मिलना था पता नहीं कहां रह गया मेरे पास पता है उसका देखा मैं सही जगह पे खड़ा भी रुके नहीं मुझे यहां मिलना था उसको पता नहीं उसका 
In the Bronx. Ah, maybe it is an Indian. Big deal. You an Indian, right? Uh -oh. Indian. Indian. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> this picture must be his kid. It looks like you, Joe. <laughs> looks Irish to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why did you rape all those innocent children? <laughs> you know, it's a shame to kill these Indians, Joe. They do such superb beaded work. You work in a restaurant, right? <laughs> hey, ask him to show you his outfits. <laughs> you ask. You don't want to speak turkey Indian. White man forked with tongue, right? <laughs> no, I don't understand it. You ask. You've got the right kind of accent. All you foreigners understand each other good. <laughs> want another nugget? Yeah, maybe Turkey wants a nugget for six. <laughs> he wants a nugget, friend. <laughs> Look at Bob. He's not like you. <laughs> no, he's your friend. You give it to him. That's what friends are for. Jesus, look at that for a face. Prem Gupta in the Bronx. This is terrific, though. The Indian wants the Bronx. You ain't gonna find no Bronx on this bus. Old Indian pal, you ain't gonna find the Bronx on this bus. Unless they change the mistress again. <laughs> now I got a terrific idea for fun and profit. Why don't you come home and meet my mother? <laughs> or maybe, maybe you'd like to meet Pussy Face. She'd be bringing over Pussy Face, Joe. You don't even know what Pussy Face is. You can't go get the Indians blind dates without giving them the breakdown. <laughs> All right, Chief, here's the breakdown on Pussy Face. She's a pink. She lives right over there. You see that pretty building? That one, the fancy one. That's Pussy Face's hideaway. She's our social worker. That's right. Pussy Face got assigned to us when we were just tanks, right, Joe? Just little fellas. Pussy Face was sent to us by the city to watch over us. She cared for us. She loved us like a mother. Not because she wanted to, but because she was paid to. Because <laughs> we were bad boys. We stole a car. We stole two cars. <laughs> we stole two cars. And we knifed the kid. You knifed the kid. <laughs> Tell him to the judge, fellas! <laughs> <laughs> the Indian thinks you're going to cut him up into a totem pole. He's a chief. I've never cut an Indian in my life. You've never seen an Indian in your life. <laughs> anyway. You got a choice. My mother, who happens to have a terrific personality. Our pussy face, our beloved social lady. Hey, where's the bus? Come. Hey, so it's Christmas. Hey, hey, show Turkey my Christmas car for pussy face. <laughs> pussy face gives us fun projects. I used to make Christmas cards last year. <laughs> Yeah. I made that with my own two cheeks. <laughs> Tell him, Joe. He's stupid. He don't understand English. <laughs> it don't matter. He's interested, ain't he? Oh, you're a fake jerk. Oh, you can look up your kazoo. <laughs> That's a Christmas card. I made it. You get me? <laughs> Pussy Face got us Christmas jobs last year. <laughs> she got me one with the city. With the war on poverty. I ran the Xerox machine. Jesus, are you stupid? You understand what word you're saying? <laughs> Look, he's interested, ain't he? That's more than I can say for most of them. You want to know how you can make your own Christmas card? Your simple Xerox 2400. <laughs> it's easy. Watch, I'll show you. First, lock the door to the stat room so no one can bust in. All right? Then, turn the machine on. Then set the dial at the number of people you want to send cards to. Like 30, 40, 3, 4. <laughs> right, fella. Then, you take your pants off, and then your underpants. Those are the ones underneath. And then you sit on the glass. And then you push a little button. And when the lights flash and the picture's developed, then you write Noel across it. <laughs> That's how you make Christmas cards. <laughs> Wait for a bus. Jesus, me too, I have a lake. Tell her to stuff it. You're a big boy now. Hey, she gets frightened, that's all. 
You know, she don't really care how late I come home as long as I tell her when I'm coming. हो गया तो उसने मुझे यहाँ बुला लिया। माफ करना मैं आपकी भाषा नहीं बोलता लेकिन मैं जल्दी सीख लूँगा। जल्दी सीख। This turkey is real pain in my ass. I think it's kind of interesting. I've never seen it in here before. Oh yeah, it's fascinating. It's marvelous. The city's a regular melting pot. Turkeys and kites like you. I haven't had any real French lady once. Oh, French lady. <laughs> Chilly, huh? Maybe it's cold, right? Sure it's quiet all of a sudden. Kind of spooky, huh? Hey, Murphy! Murph's my best buddy, you see. I mean, he gets kind of crazy sometimes. But that's all. I mean, everybody gets kind of crazy sometimes, right? Because you're a stupid Indian. Can't you speak any English, huh? What the hell did you come here for, especially if you can't talk any English? You want to say something to me? Can't you even say thank you? Thank you? <laughs> I'll be goddamn, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mr. Terrific, you're welcome. How are you? You're welcome. No, how are you? How are you? Oh my God, Jesus, you're going to be talking like us in no time. You're okay, huh? You okay? I mean, I didn't mean to hurt you, you know, but Murphy gets all worked up, you know? He gets all excited, and this ain't the first time either, you know? No, sir. No, sir. That's right. No, sir. He gets especially crazy around frogs. Frogs. Yeah, frogs. <laughs> What am I yakking for? Hey, tell me about India. I'd like to go to India sometime. Oh, this is crazy. Mom, she's still in New Jersey. Knees are dumb. Oh, jump in, please. Knees are dumb. Bring the lady out. Jump in, Jesus. Knees are dumb. Pussy face ain't home yet. I just rang her bell. She don't answer. I guess she's still on vacation. She ruined our game. 
Pussy face ruins everything. She don't really care about our games. Just like Indians. They don't know how to play our games either. <laughs> what the hell's going on? He tried to run and I hit him. Yeah, I saw that, all right? You hit him. Is he alive? He was fighting and I hit him. All right, you hit him what? Hey, he's begging for something. Maybe he's begging for his life. Come on, Nancy. Come on, get him a piece. Of everything's going to be okay. Come on, Nancy. Bubba, they're on. Everything's all right. 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 Okay, we're moving up to the hospital. Just tell me what the hell's wrong with you. Huh? Nothing! He tried to run, that's all. Change the subject. Change the subject. And the important, I hit him. That's all. Okay, you hit him. So where the hell were you? Were you sick? Were you a little bit sick of me? You could have been visiting because there's no one to visit, right? What do you mean? I mean, where the hell were you? <laughs> You're a little green there, Iris. Right? <laughs> You're pretty funny. What the hell's so funny? Nothing's funny. The chief and I were just having a little power and we got to wonder where you ran off to. And it's just natural for us to wonder, ain't it? Hey, right, look Chief? At that. Turkey's got a woolly sweater just like yours. <laughs> ain't that a terrific coincidence? <laughs> you two been playing strip poker. Sure, strip poker. Chief won my sweater and I won three of his feathers in a broken arrow. You wonder who I am, don't you? Perhaps this silver bullet will have to identify me. Oh! The hell did you do that for? The chief didn't do nothing. Oh, Jesus, you and your chief are pretty buddy-buddy, ain't you? The chief didn't do nothing. If you give your sweater, maybe you let him up for a beer. My job at Murphy could be a pain in the ass. You little pisser, who the hell do you think you're talking to? It's the phone. Oh, the kid's a whiz. He gets that right away. Should we answer it? What for? Who'll be calling here? It's the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Turkey? Don't you have a dime? <laughs> Give Turkey a dime, Joe. Give him a dime. Jesus, I hate to be an Indian. Hey, get the paper from him. Let's call the Bronx. Cut it out, Murph. Enough's enough. Come on, get the freaking piece of paper. What's the matter with you anyway? I just don't think it's such a terrific idea, that's all. Oh, what's the matter? Are you a chicken? Is that what you are, huh? Well, suppose his son's called the police. I mean, what do you think? You think his son hasn't called the police? He, they called the police and he traced our call, right? They can't trace any phone calls. You're nuts. Anyways, we'll be gone from here. You're nuts, man. I don't want to do it. Come on, they can't trace nothing to nobody. Now get the paper. Now get it yourself. Come on, get it yourself. I ain't gonna get it. Joe, he's not gonna hurt nobody. It's just a game, you know that. Now come on, get the paper. Why don't we call somebody else then? Yeah, well, have the Indian call. Imagine if an Indian call, called you up and talked to an Indian. I bet the chief would go for that. Jesus, where are we? Get the paper and the picture. I put 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 the paper and the picture. Prang. Prang's the name. Yeah, I want to call Prang. Give me the paper with his name. Give me the paper and the picture. Shut up! Give me the paper and the picture. This is terrific. Here, hold him.
<laughs> yeah, I want some information. I want a number up in the Bronx. Gupta, G-U-P-T-A, an Indian kid. First name's Prem, T-R-E-M. No, I can't read the street right. Wait a minute. Oh, for Christ's sakes, how many Indians are up in the Bronx? There must be only one Indian named Gupta. There are two Indians named Gupta. Well, is the both of them names Prem? Well, that's what I told you, Jesus. Wait, say it again? Okay, okay, right, thanks. Don't talk. Six, seven, four, oh, one. It's ringing. It's ringing. Hello. I got the kid. Lost his crumb up. Oh, Fred, how are you? Fred, put it on. <laughs> No, 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 just listen to me, wake up there. No, 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 I don't know nothing about your old man. <laughs> we found an old elephant down here in Miami. We thought it must be yours. You can't tell for sure whose elephant is yours, you know what I mean? What was that? Say it again! I can't hear you too well. It's all this distance between us, you get it? It's a long way down here, you follow me? No, 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 I ain't got no Indian. I just got an elephant. Yeah, and he's eating all my peanuts. <laughs> what no, you're talking too fast. Look down. Oh! <laughs> no, no, that was the waiter. I'm in an Indian restaurant. No, that was nobody. That was just a myth. That was your imagination. Shut up! Damn you, and listen! Okay, are you listening? He was very upset. He was very upset. Well, what the hell's the matter with you? I only told him we'd find your elephant. I thought maybe he lost his elephant. Oh, you don't gotta take me, Turkey. I only told him your elephant was okay. I thought maybe he lost his elephant. John, John. This is terrific. You should have heard this guy jab. He got so excited, he started talking in Indian, just like the chief here. He said the turkey here and him got separated today. The turkey's only been in the city one day. <laughs> enough, chief. There it is. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Go ahead, Joey. Love him like a mother, Joey. Go ahead.